what makes the difference in the quality of people's lives? What makes some people leaders and other people followers? What makes most people talk about a dream and never follow through, and other people just a small percentage kick ass, take names, you can throw any obstacle at them, they find a way to break through. What's the difference? It's not talent, it's not skill, it's hunger. If you get enough hunger going in you for an answer, you'll find the answer. If you get a hunger enough inside of you that says, I gotta take things to the next level, I gotta achieve, I gotta make a difference, I gotta expand, you will find the answer. People's intelligence will expand if they got enough hunger. But if you got everything and you're not hungry, you're not gonna have much. The super successful don't stop once they hit their targets. They simply reset and go again. Anytime you stop reaching for massive success, the next thing, you start settling in, that's when you start having problems. The comfort zone is dangerous. When you're comfortable, you are most dangerous. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. Well, you should be afraid of taking risks and pursuing something meaningful. But you should be more afraid of staying where you are if it's making you miserable. It's like you're paying a price by sitting there being miserable. You might say, well, the devil I know is better than the one I don't. It's like, don't be so sure of that. The clock is ticking. Yeah, and if you're miserable in your job now and you change nothing, in five years you'll be much more miserable and you'll be a lot older. So don't be finished. Be starting. Be alert. Be ready. Be attacking. Be relentless. Let the enemy stop. Let the enemy rest. Let the enemy finish. You don't finish. Don't stop. Don't rest. Not until the enemy is completely destroyed. You are excellent. Now stop playing small. You are excellent. Stop playing small. You are excellent. Stop taking the hand that they dealt you. Take ownership. If you can get all A's in the class, do it. You don't need nobody to give you $50, $100, no pair of shoes, take you on no trip. You a grown man. Do it because you can. Stop needing the care. Stop needing money. Stop needing a trip. Stop needing somebody to give you a sticker on your head and do it for the pride of who you are. Do it because you can. I don't care what your friends are doing. When you leave, what you fighting for? What's your legacy? What you going to do? You say you a champ, but do you practice like a champ? You say you a champ, do you fight like a champ? You say you a champ, do you have the mentality of a champ? You have to hustle. You have to get going. Get up out of your seat and move. You have to take massive action. It's hard. It sucks. It can sap you of your mental and physical energy. But you need to get going and get up after those things that you want. No one's going to do it for you. Work on yourself every day. Get better. Improve. Learn. Extend yourself. Push yourself out of your comfort zone. Push the boundaries that you're accustomed to. That's the only way to grow as a person. If you look at all the successful people in the world, one common thread between all of them is that they've all hustled. They've all gotten to work, gotten busy. The gap between here and your ultimate life is action. That's the link. You have to hustle. You have to get out there and do what's required. What excuse do you have? What reason do you have not to? Turn this video off, get out there and get to work. One of the things you have to understand about life is everything changes and everything ends. And that kind of sounds heavy on the front end, but it's a truth. If everything changes and everything ends, number one, it should make you appreciate what you have right now. And then my view is, What's next is always better if I make it so. It's my job to make it so. And so I think, you know, for me, I look at it and say, you know, when you said uh, genius is a young man's game, I think it's total bullshit. I think passion is the genesis of genius. If you've got enough passion, you're going to find answers nobody else does. But most people run out of fuel, meaning they get tired, they get exhausted, they get burnt out, they get you know, the law of familiarity. They're around something so much, they take it a little bit for granted. And I've managed to see something in myself that I found in every great leader that I've ever respected. And that is, I, I, I value intelligence immensely, but I know really smart people can't fight their way out of a paper bag pragmatically, right? I'm sure you do too. 
What I see is the one common denominator of people that are successful over a lifetime is the sustained hunger. Hunger is the number one factor. When I see somebody, I don't care what age they are, I don't care what their background is, if they're hungry to improve, to change, to make something happen. I mean, if you look at Richard Branson, he's as hungry today in his late 60s as he was at 16 years old in that crypt starting virgin. You know, look at my buddy Mark Benioff, you know, he's like, he's I know, like in his early 50s right now. Mark is more hungry today than when I knew him 12, 14, 15 years ago when he was first coming up with the idea of so I'm gonna, and he went to one of my seminars over and over again, the UPW, you know which one. And he went there like four or five times and he was sitting in the front row, he's a tall guy, introduced himself and said, you've convinced me I'm gonna leave this company I work for as an employee here and I'm gonna go start this new company called salesforce.com. Wow. And he says, Tony, we're gonna do a hundred million dollars in business and we're gonna change business. Now he's doing whatever, 30 billion right now. <laughs> but, it's, but it's because he hasn't lost the hunger. And I think the law of familiarity is what destroys a relationship. You get around somebody enough, you love them, but you don't have the same passion, the same aliveness. And I'm just not willing to settle for a life without passion and aliveness. That's just like, there's so much to learn, there's so much to grow, there's so much to give, and I'm I'm wired to grow and give. And I, I, I think anybody gets wired to grow and give is gonna have a really fulfilling life. It doesn't matter what you choose to do, you're gonna be alive, because you're gonna make progress. And because you made progress, you have something to give. And we all, like some people think they just wanna get, but you get, 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 and it's pretty damn boring and it doesn't really expand your sense of identity of who you are. But if you're constantly growing and then taking what you learn, you're so excited about it, you share it with other people and their life gets better, whether that be software you make or dresses you design or you know something you do in the health space that really gets people to enjoy their food while they're eating well. If you have those passions and you keep growing, there's no limit. It doesn't matter what happens in the short term with a pandemic or with a drop in the economy or whatever the case may be. These are all temporary when you realize life is lived in decades, not in days. There are no right things to do in life. If you choose something and put everything that you have into it, it'll become a great thing. Is it the right thing? Is it the best thing? When you say, is it the right thing? What you're asking is, is it the best thing to do in life? There is no best thing to do in life. Anything that you take up, and if you put your heart and soul into it, it becomes a great thing. Is it the best thing? No. Then what is the best thing? There is no such thing. There's really no such thing. Why are you not passionate about everything in the existence? You're only passionate about one thing means what? You're constipated. That's what it means. So, see, idiots do things that they don't like to do, suffer for their whole life because they think it's needed, or they think it's their duty. Intelligent people do what they love to do. They enjoy their life to some extent. But a genius learns to do what is needed joyfully. That's when your genius flowers, because it's no more about you. Now there's a limitless way of looking at life. So every aspect of this rally, or many other things, I don't even have to tell people that this must happen, this must happen, this must happen. A few things, yes. The rest of it, I just make it up in my mind. I know it must happen. And it will happen. Not because I'm exercising my will over the world, because I'm just fulfilling the will of the world, that's all.